All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back. Let's see what Jose is up to. Oh, let me go give that debt money to Strauss first. Or in the box, is it in here? I should have cut the pill off that deer the moment I uh the moment I picked Hello, it up. Hello, Abigail. Good morning, Arthur. How are you holding up? I'm good. Good to hear. Sure. Mrs. Adler. Morning to you. Morning. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. No reason. Just making sure. Yes. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. All right, then, Arthur. All right, Hosea. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're going to make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We okay. are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. All right. Sounds good. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that is his, 
his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but their young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. But I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, <laughs> gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. He is an angry, bitter little man. Jesus Christ. It's all right, Dutch. Gentlemen, I do find it weird how... And welcome once again to Thank you. Ciao, ciao. How Dutch has a hole in his hat. A bullet hole. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out all the corners of the places I look at this. Can I interest you in a glass? Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. I do try. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> How are you, ma'am? How are you all doing? Outrageous. Good day, sir. These dancers. Well, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Gentlemen. Is this the mayor here? Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. 
Yeah, I'll say you and me cool off. Yeah, let's get his racist ass out of here. Hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Out you go. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Very Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Some Cornwall information. Excellent. Good evening. Is that room, Hello. How do you do? Hey, mister. Hey, mister. How do you do? How do you do? Monsieur? Monsieur? How are you? Hello, mister. How's things? Just fine, thank you. Glad to hear. Take care. See you soon. Where is he going? No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Wandering about and reading whatever he likes. It sounds vaguely familiar. Like a certain Mr. Morgan. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! Will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Jesus, dude. He's gone. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. 
very interesting. Anything else of value? Okay, let's go back downstairs. Hopefully nobody's gotten themselves into any drunken trouble. here of course and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it big bank real one I mean but not yet a city bank maybe and a stuffed one if we're gonna leave that could be the one thing we need there's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about and I heard about a high stakes poker game come on all sounds pretty good Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly but I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> All right, well, let's get on out there. Pour some drinks, compliment other guests' attire, accept a gift, and save a life. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> It's all right. Let's get to moving. Morning, Karen. You all right? I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right. About what? Sandini. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood, human blood, in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wife's tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
she's friend of romance, Arthur. So she met some nonsense. Don't we all? <laughs> hey. My lady. Morning. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. Sounds good. Where'd you go? Miss Jackson. Hello, Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. Okay. All right, all right. We're good. See, nothing at camp we can take part in. A couple of things up there. Bounty. Mary. Mm -hmm. know what let's see what do we want to do you know what let's head up here get those out of the way there she is good morning Arthur everything okay I guess Board. Well, we need to get you out on another job again soon. All right, Arthur. Did, did Susan just... Did she want to talk to me? Is my, oh my God, it's coming through camp. Sorry, boy. Is your problem? <laughs> it's okay, all right. Boy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Somebody, please help me! Oh. You, please, gotta help me. What's up? Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. Sure, you sure, sure. All right, where is she? She's a sack down in the swamp by the water. Gotcha. Uh, uh, yeah. well, that was a bird. I'm like, what the hell did it lock onto? Oh shit, okay. Well, that's a tiny crocodile. Oh my god. Almost ran into it. Yep. 
Look at this. All right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Wait, what? Nope, not the drawer. Where is the sack? Where is she talking about? Again, you my garden angel. Not a problem. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. All right, let's hope he gets his ba way back. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, that's a turtle. Yeah. That's an alligator. Been through here a couple of times, actually, haven't we? Once with the grays, I think maybe let no, not let. Wagon, not the doctor guy. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay there, boy. Easy, boy. There's anything good to find. Anything? Vegetables. What is that? Is that fi are, are those fingers? No, those are like pig's feet or something. Let's search the drawers. Chewing tobacco, don't need it, don't want it, can't take it. And we can't take the ten of crackers either.
Excuse me, gentlemen. Okay, so for some reason you're kind of made to ride a little slower in the swamp. Even when it gives the appearance of solid ground. Yeah. Okay then. Hello, sir. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligator? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> The ten percent have survived. They're the nasty ones. <laughs> All right then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest. There. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look there. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. All right. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Oh look. That little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Memorial alone. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. In the middle of his dinner. That's terrifying. History is Nature. In all its glory. And cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Right. Right. There. In the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Excellent. Beast in repose. Where'd you go? Calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. <laughs> this is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rolling fool. Exactly. He values his arm being attached to his body. <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah! Can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. But we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. Oh, so shit. Start facing the land mass. Hold on. Now, look, and come around. Back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Excuse coax me? Him. Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Turn us around, so so I'm facing it, please. Well, maybe I want this monster stuff in on display. Huh. That's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him in the get him to notice you. Then turn tail and I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh, he's awake. Oh no. Back we go, back we go, back we go. Oh my god. Oh. Come on, Gator. Jump in the boat! 
in, 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 in. I'm trying to get in. What a specimen. Nearly got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Die. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Die horribly. Back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, uh, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, yeah. I hope we've changed. Me too. Here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh. I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop jaw dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on now, boy. <sighs> okay. And let's hit Black Bell since we're up here. Black Bell, I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Running from him neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against Sam, that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell! I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now. Oh, yeah. Got him. <laughs> Back to the front! More riders! We're rigged here too! More of the chucks! Oh god! Oh no! Ah. Oh, that's a Gatlin! That's a Gatlin gun! Quickly! Oh, 
idiots chasing it. Well, at a certain price, you don't get idiots. Ah. That one. Peace on for the Gatlin. Woo! <laughs> Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, cool. what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> well, well. I don't really know what I uh, got me a little bit of dishonor besides maybe killing a lot of people. But we uh had a little fun, didn't we? Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. When we return, we're going to see what's up in town in Saint Denis and uh, see what trouble we can get into. Probably talk to Mary first. I don't know. We'll see. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.